Well, in the fall of 1889, after a week-long tour of Victoria with his wife and two children, Canada's Governor General headed back to Vancouver and Ottawa when his ship grounded in Harrow Strait. It could have changed the history of hockey Stanley Cup, and more than that, could have prevented a tragic trip to the South Pole. Bruce Kirkpatrick now with This Week in History. Here we have a section of the crumpled bilge keel of the HMS Amphion. Maritime history in a Victoria park. The rest of the bilge keel was torn off and uh, disappeared. On November 6, 1889, the Royal Navy ship Amphion left Victoria for Vancouver. Aboard was Lord Stanley, Governor General of Canada. In thick fog, the Amphion struck the rocks near San Juan Island. The ship left the outer harbour and headed for Harrow Strait, went up Harrow Strait, hit fog straight into American territory and then crashed into Kellett Bluff on Henry Island right there. Polar explorer Robert Falcon Scott might have been aboard the Amphion as well. Scott and four others lost their lives after walking to the South Pole and freezing to death on their return journey in 1912. But would Scott's Antarctic expedition have happened at all if the Amphion had sunk with loss of lives? He served aboard the HMS Amphion about this time, so it, because he was only a sub-lieutenant, he wasn't mentioned, he wasn't famous yet, so nobody would have heard of uh, Scott had, uh, had the ship gone down and he had been aboard. The sharp rocks had ripped holes in the starboard side of the ship, tearing the bilge keel from the hull, damaging the propellers. It, this was riveted to the side of the ship and you can see the rivets were just pulled right out off the ship. With steam and hand pumps running flat out, HMS Amphion limped home under a prepare to abandon ship order. Everyone was saved. It was listing badly. It was the four compartments that were damaged were almost completely flooded. It barely made it back to Esquimalt. The Amphion's captain, Edward Halton, and navigating officer, Lieutenant Francis Barrett, were reprimanded for failure to take extra precautions during poor weather and endangering the Governor General. They also hadn't taken a uh, local pilot aboard. Two and a half years after HMS Amphion ran aground, Lord Stanley donated a silver trophy cup for the best amateur hockey team in Canada. Today, it's the Stanley Cup. If Lord Stanley had gone down with the boat, had not survived, uh, there wouldn't be any Stanley Cup. A twisted piece of metal in Beacon Hill Park, a reminder of a maritime tragedy narrowly averted, something that could have changed history. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.